morning everyone so right now it is 7 11 a.m so i have to be at st michael's hospital in toronto at 9 15 a.m however i do like taking the go train early because it's either you get there early or you get there late so i usually like taking the go train early getting to toronto around 8 30 or 8 15 or so I'm going to get a coffee from starbucks and then meeting at st michael's hospital which is where i do most of my research right now or i do it in another building called the Lee Kishing knowledge institute they're both connected by this really sweet tunnel that i'll show you guys today so basically what i usually do is I either take an Uber to the go station or I ask my mom to wake up and go take me but right now it's really early so I didn't want to wake up my mom so I already ordered the Uber it should arrive in two or three minutes um, the train is at 7 40 a.m so I do have around uh, 28 minutes to get there because right now it's 7 12 and then basically how my commute works is I go to a go station called Clarkson go station the train is around 30 minutes or so and then I reach Toronto and then I can either walk to the hospital which is a 20 minute walk or I can take the metro which is also roughly a 20 minute commute with the metro so I usually like walking because there's a bunch of hotels there's a lot of cool restaurants that I like walking past and it's just a really enjoyable experience especially with everybody going to Toronto for a nine to five job you're walking with all of them and it's honestly such a massive crowd and i don't know it's just a cool community and i like walking in toronto why not plus i get extra steps in so that's also a really good bonus i'm probably gonna go work out after i finish at um at research today hopefully i finish fairly early so i can come back and i can go to the gym because gyms actually did open up yesterday on monday today is july uh, 20th they just opened on july 19th here in canada and i haven't worked out for literally like a year um but yeah so i'm gonna take you guys on this big journey with me and i'll see you guys on the train So I just got off the go train right now. So now I'm gonna make my 20 minute walk. Now, like I told you guys, I usually like making this walk because I like to see a lot of cool buildings and there's a bunch of stores and I just like walking past by a lot of people. So while I was actually on the train, I don't know if you guys know, but Jeff Bezos, the guy that like basically created Amazon, he's actually going to space today and I was watching the live stream on the, uh, on the go train. Right now it's 8.36 um, and he is going to space at 9 a.m. So I was watching the live stream uh, online and he's actually going to space with the oldest person ever, a girl named Wally. Um, and he's also going to space with the youngest person ever with a guy named Oliver Damon. He's from Netherlands and he's 18 years old. They're going up to space at 9 a.m. How it works is they basically go up to space for three minutes, float around, and then they basically come back down and it counts as I'm going to space. So I was just watching it on the train right now and now I'm literally just walking to the hospital. I'll probably be there in around 15 minutes or so and then we're gonna get started with my day. So we just finished research, now we're going for lunch together, and then after that, we're gonna head home. All right, so basically I just went to the hospital. I just had to drop off a couple things um, for a study that we were conducting, and then after I finished that, we went with the doctor to go eat. Um, we went to go eat at a place called King Taps after we finished that. Um, and then right now I'm gonna be heading home. I'm probably gonna take the metro home and then go take the GO train home after that. Um, I have a couple other things I wanna do today though, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them done later. Uh, I wanna edit the video, I wanna edit this video actually. Um, I wanna get the thumbnail for this video, so we'll see if I'll be able to get that today. Um, if not, then we'll get it a different day. But yeah, that's basically how my day's been going so far. Um, it's like around 4.30 right now. 
I'll probably go home around 5.30ish. The commute is usually a 20 minute walk from the hospital to the GO train station, which is actually in Toronto. And then I go from Union, which is the main GO train station. That's right next to the Air Canada Centre where the Toronto Raptors play. That takes around another 35 minutes for the GO train, which is a train from Toronto and Mississauga. So all in all, it's like a 55 minute you know, commute. Then on top of that, I need to drive home after, which is like a 15 minute drive. So all in all, I don't usually come down down that much just because most of our work right now is online due to the pandemic, but things are slowly starting to open up right now. That's why there's more um, kind of work being done inside the hospital. Now things are slowly starting to ramp up again because now there's way less cases going on, especially in Toronto and in Mississauga, which are like the big places that there was a lot of cases actually recently. So now a lot of people are moving in towards the hospital and yeah, people are keep looking at me so I'm probably gonna move to another area. It's so hot outside so I decided to take the metro because I was literally sweating on my way. So this is Union Station. This is where basically all the trains come to if they're going to different cities. So mine is going to Mississauga, but there's cities like there's Hill, there's Oakville, there's Kitchener. There's so many cities and I'm not supposed to take off my mask here. So I'll put it back on. But yeah, this is basically the headquarters of all the trains that go to different cities as well as the ones that also go to different provinces. Like if you want to go to Montreal, British Columbia, um, Alberta, anything that's all happens here at Union Station. And this is kind of like probably one of the most hectic um, metro stations in Canada. There's a lot of restaurants here, as you guys can see. So many people come here on their way back home and they just like get a quick bite to eat. There's music playing, there's, there's usually a bunch of things happening here and it's usually very packed, it's just not that packed right now because of the pandemic. Alright, so this sucks, I just got here two minutes before the last train left. So I literally have to wait 25 minutes until the next train leaves. Um, but I got a drink, oop. Oh, that's not good. I got a drink in the meantime. Uh, to enjoy while I sit here. Right now it's 4.50, the last train left at 4.45, and the next train's at 5.15. So I basically have to just kill like 25 minutes, like literally do nothing. I'll probably watch some Netflix on my phone, put my headphones on, and literally just watch Netflix the whole time. Alright, so I just got on the train right now. I'm making my way home. It's a 40 minute ride. I ended up taking a different one that was a bit earlier at 510. It's gonna take me at a different stop that's closer to my house, but I'm gonna get there later. But I'll be on the train longer. So this one left at 510. When I get to the place I want to at 550, that's closer to home. Or I could have taken the later one at 515. Got to a place that was further from my house, but at 545. So at the end of the day, I'm on the train for longer, but at least um, I'm, I get to a place that's closer to home. So it's not too bad. Um, and then I get home in about. I'll probably be home in about an hour. Alexa, good morning. Alright, so I'm basically done. Now I just have a birthday party that I'm going to. Once the birthday party is done, it's like 6 p.m. right now. It's probably gonna finish around 9.30. Then I'm gonna go watch the basketball game. Today's Phoenix against Milwaukee Bucks, the game four of the NBA Finals. Phoenix actually beat the Lakers, who is my home team, because I love LeBron. They beat them in the first round, but I'm not that upset. I'll only be upset if Phoenix doesn't win the championship, because then I could say Lakers lost to the champions, but if Milwaukee wins it, then I'll be pretty upset. So I'm going for Phoenix. So yeah, I hope you guys are also going for Phoenix as well. I'll see you guys tonight. If I bring you guys to Boston Pizza where we're watching the game. If not, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed it. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. Take care and take it easy.